hey, heads up to this five minute quickie. What is it about? It's about not explaining what hypnosis is, but what it's like. Because so many people come and see me and they're frightened. Frightened of what hypnosis is going to do to them in the way that are they going to be in control or out of control or be controlled? Are they going to be like a zombie sleep and eyes closed and just that? Well, I'm here to dismiss that silly little rumour because it is silly and you're going to realise it's silly when you have a listen to this. So please do. And then maybe just take a chance, a trance to make the change you'd love to see in the world and in you. Hi there, it's Paul. And I wanted to record something that might put some people's minds at rest. Because often when I see clients in for hypnotherapy, they are a little bit worried about hypnosis. They've seen it on telly. They think it's a zombified and in sleep and the head goes down and everybody just does what they're told. They're under control of that hypnotist. And maybe that's a little bit true. But only after a long, long, long time of of practice and practice with that particular person. That's what I believe. Because I see hypnosis as something completely different when it's in the therapy room. Now you have to realise there's a lot of intent. Intent of you, the client, because you your intention is to let go of an issue, yeah? And to be the person you want to be. Now that's a good intention. And for the, th- the hypnotherapist, there's the intention to help you there, to get there, to guide you, to find that process that is the one thing that will make the change easily, effortlessly, and really quickly. Now, I know if you go to any hypnotherapist, hypnotist, and ask them what hypnosis is, you'll get a different version. So I'm not going to try to explain to you what hypnosis is, but I'll explain to you what it's like from my point of view and my experience and my experience of my clients. You see, I explain it this way. Have you ever woken up before you need to? Some people wake up with an alarm and they wake up maybe five minutes just before. Or if you don't wake up with an alarm, but you know you've woken up that little bit early, you're laying in that warm bed and you know if the telephone rang, someone knocked on your door, shouted your name, you could attend to it. You could. But there's a very technical term in this warm place, so comfortable, so relaxed. The technical term is, well, I just can't be asked. Sorry about the swearing, but that's how I feel. I just can't be asked. And that is how I think 90% or a large percent of people experience hypnosis. It's very relaxing. It's very comforting, very comfortable. And you can hear everything that goes on with a hypnotherapist. You're with them. Because it's not a do-to process. It's a do-with. The hypnotherapist is there to work with you and guide you. So you'll hear everything. You'll even speak. Speak to the hypnotherapist if he mentions his, asks you a question. He'll ask you to do things. And you'll do things in your conscious mind while he's maybe talking to your unconscious mind. It's just the way it works. And it is so nice. I think it's so nice. And it's a process that when you come out of it, you go, I feel so much lighter. Everything seems so much brighter. I always say to my clients, you will feel better when you leave this room than you did when you came in. And if you haven't made some significant changes after that session, then there's something wrong. Because significant changes should happen, I believe. But if you are worried about hypnosis, please just imagine that can't be asked feeling and go, that's what it's going to feel like. And the thing is, what I always say to clients too, even in the therapy room, when we're doing an induction, I will say, even if I did say anything and ask you to do something against your values, your morals, or anything you wouldn't do, then you'll ignore that instruction anyway. 
So you always remain in control. All you have to do is have the will to do whatever it takes. And I think when you get that, and you get that rapport and trust with your therapist, which is why it's so good to have an initial consultation where there's nothing, nothing needed other than getting your questions answered so you can make a real considered decision, whether it's right for you and are you right with that therapist. I always ask my clients to imagine having two little boxes in the head that they've got to tick. And if they don't tick them, no work is done. No appointment is made. The first tick is, does what this guy is saying, saying to me, does it feel the right thing to do? Because do, if it doesn't feel the right thing to do, then please, I think you have to say, no, I'll find another way. Because if you don't feel it's the right thing to do, I don't think you're going to get your, your, the result that you really want. And the other box, equally as important, do I feel comfortable with this person in front of me? Because if you don't feel comfortable with that person, again, I think you've got to say, no, thank you very much. Very kind of you. But I'm not going to proceed. Because I want my clients to say that if they don't feel comfortable. Because I don't want to waste my time and I don't want to waste their time and money. I want to create success. And you get success with the right intention from the client, you, and the therapist, me, or any other therapist. So. I just wanted to have this little video out there, this little audio, just so that you know that if you ever, ever, ever have been worried about what's hypnosis and what will it do to me, it will only create positive, wonderful change with the right therapist. And there is nothing to worry about. Because with the right intention and the will to do whatever it takes on both parties, that therapist will the will to do whatever it takes to get that change for you help you guide that change and you as a client the will to do whatever it takes to get that change i really believe having ticked those two boxes you will get the result you want and you'll love it you might even start up a regime or a ritual of just having self-hypnosis to really calm yourself down after to be relaxed to just get comfortable with the world it's just, it's just like meditation then it's just a lovely process it's not the same as meditation Sometimes if you do meditate, it's a, it's a very similar feeling. There you go. I hope that's made you so comfortable and be comfortable with hypnosis. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Have fun and just know that you can make changes quickly, easily and so comfortably because you can. Okay, bye-bye. Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged. Hey, welcome to the 5-Minute Quickie. And if you're new here... Just a little explanation what a 5-Minute Quickie podcast is with the Personal Development Unplugged podcast. But it's basically me just musing and hopefully getting you to muse, to think. Think about different things just over, say, five minutes and maybe you'll take them away. Those thoughts, develop them, and maybe we can develop them together in a longer podcast. Sometimes they'll be, well, they're never five minutes, I'll tell you that now. Or very rarely. There may even be a little process there. I don't know. But it's things that I've come across, read, heard. And just something I want to share with you. Just to, well, to think. And to probe. And get ourselves in a way that we can just keep striving to be that little bit different. A little bit better. So we can be the change we want to see in others and be the change we want to be in ourselves. Just a thought. Just becoming aware of maybe what is new. What we can do. When we start thinking of things like that, I believe it means we start to create those things as well. Because you have a feeling. The feeling that those thoughts generate and that feeling will I think resonate in 
into action and results. Anyway, that's a quick roundup intro of the 5-Minute Quickie.